And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. Uh, Natsuki, you should probably shut the f*** up. M Monica, she don't mean it. She don't mean that, Monica. She just jokey, jokey. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Oh, um, Monica, what's up? It, it's time to share poems. Um, who do we want to, you know what? Let's just jump, let's just jump straight for it. Just jump straight to it. Let's just get, go straight to the source, to the root. I ain't scared of you. When I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Correct. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. That ain't no problem. What you mean? I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Hey, she can. That's it's normal. It's normal. It's normal. We can talk about it. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. What did you say? Why is... What? The Like nothing that they just gonna casually just, j just say that and the music's just gonna stay all hype, happy. And they just casually throw it in your face that, hey, you know, when she, she gets too excited, she finds a little spot and starts cutting herself. Like, bro, that is a big issue. Isn't that kind of messed up? What are you doing? What's with the face? Is she laughing it off? She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. What the fuck am I reading right now? I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like... A sexual thing. Oh, well, this uh, this took a this took a turn, didn't it? But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. I ain't gonna lie, Monica, you've been doing some crazy stuff, but I will still take you up on that offer, you feel me? <laughs> but I can't just, come on, Yuri, we, we, wanna, wanna, we wanna have fun with Yuri too. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Get out. But anyway, you wanna read my poem now? I don't know anymore. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Ah, <sighs> all right. Let's see what she's talking about. Save me. The colors they won't bright, beautiful, English. flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and the endless cacophony of meaningless noise the noise it won't stop violent grating with screeching piercing sine cosine tangent like playing chalkboard on a t table like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage endless of mean Oh my gosh. Delete her. Whoa, 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 whoa now. Whoa now. Hold, hold on, baby. Hold on. Whoa now. What? Delete her. Bro. What? Hey. Who is she talk? What happened to the letters? Who? Can I, can I ask her questions? Oh, sorry. I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. Hey, there's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. 
you never know when um who am i talking to can you hear me what tell me you can hear me anything oh please help me who need who is monica at whoa that's my advice for today thanks for listening bro wait 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on now hold on now all right i might have been throwing stones i might have been throwing stones what if she isn't the crazy one and she's actually looking for help was that her asking us for help just now bro oh this game we'll save yuri for last because you know we, we, we develop in a story with her right now what you got Natsuki? it's nice to see that you're putting in some effort that's right we chose words that Natsuki would like for this poem like all the happy words that's good just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone I think you're at least being influenced by Leary a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been like, Nasky, we can explain. Spending some time with her or whatever. It's cool, we can spend some time too, Nasky. Just, you know, get to know each other a little, a little bit better. What? A little bit better. <laughs> but you know, Monica and I are just as good as her. I know. I just want individually. I need to get to know everybody one at a time, baby. At poems, I mean, shh. right, right, right. That's that's what you meant. That's what I meant to. Fight. I'll make sure you learn something from it. Or bring it on, Da Vinci. Oh, bro, is this the spider ones again? But it's kind of obvious that you respect Mer. Mm. There he, there he. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so. Whatever, we're done sharing, so you can leave now. What you mean? We in the same classroom, where am I gonna go? Yuri, the main event. Yuri, baby, we need to talk, don't we? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. shes I don't think she's gonna like it as much as Natsuki because this poem was uh, targeted more so towards Natsuki's likes. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. It's just it's just the, the poem, baby. Just read the poem. I I mean the poem turned out good. You didn't even read it, Yuri. Don't lie to me. It's uh Well there are some things that you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Oh, Lord. God damn. Whoa. Bro, do they really want me to? Come on, son. Golly. This is not a poem anymore. This is a whole paragraph. This is a thesis. Oh, this is research paper. Oh my gosh, this is the final exam that she had four days left to complete. She went on Wikipedia, copied and pasted two pages, made it double spaced, put it all on one page. Huh? <sighs> Damn, I don't feel like reading all of this, bro. <laughs> all right. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time control by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning. A prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. 
exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears in a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bald head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing will. Oh, good God, Yuri, what are you doing to me? It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. That is, a pen fell out of your pocket yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and you took my pen. That's why I was looking for that when I got back. But uh, why the music stop? Why is it quiet right now? I um, yo, when I get quiet, I get nervous because you don't know what's gonna happen. Like when you press the button, like the music gets quiet for a reason, bro. I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Uh Ah, I'm okay. What did I just? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. What? You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? I don't know anymore. Oh, what is this about to be, bro? N O N. Ah, oh, it's blurred. Question. So it's a question. I can't decipher this. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. We're all done. Whoa, but yo. We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone can sit at the front of the room. Is this about the that noise? What is that noise? I, sh- I need to be reading, but like, yo, I can't. Bro, I'm look. Do we really have something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Oh. Oh, what just happened? Oh, what just happened? Do I, yo, I do not want to press this button right now, bro. Where? Oh, shit. Why did that scream? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Nothing happened. I just, I, I got scared over nothing. Oh, I might have to edit that out. Nope. <laughs> I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Funny joined, and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? Bro, do we ever really make it to this festival, bruh? Like, this is the second time we've been building up to this festival. Every time the festival is about to... The day of the festival, something happens to somebody. What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members. You stupid. More members. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Naski, you better listen to her. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them 
to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, funny? Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Monica, I'm with you. I agree with you. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Funny to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Ooh. Ooh, the music cut off. His body gets serious again. Yuri never even talked until Funny joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Funny isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. Well, I mean, you know, I, I can learn. I can learn. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. Uh, Natsuki, you should probably shut the f*** up. M Monica, she don't mean it. She don't mean that, Monica. She just jokey, jokey. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> She's just joking. It's jokes. It's jokes. The rest of us are fine like this. Hold on. Who, who's the rest of us? I'm not part of this us. I didn't say and I said Nathan. I said nothing. Keep my mouth shut. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Get out. Not ski. No, baby. No. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Funny want to get more members too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Yuri. Yuri, you got to roll with it. Roll with it. Damn it. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. Yeah, we, but we can't let her know that. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. And that's okay. That's what clubs are for. For a few people to hang out after the school and chill and relax, Monica. It's okay. Please don't hurt nobody. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against new members or anything. Funny, why did you even join this club? Um... Pancakes. What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact... If I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Yeah, you kind of, you know, you kind of dragged me in here, Monica, but that's that's cool. That's cool. Monica sits down and stares at the desk. All right, y'all, we need we need a plan. Something is about to happen and I don't like it. What's the point of all of this anyway? Damn it. What if starting this club was a mistake? No, Monica, you had ambition. And we all need it. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in a club like that. You don't understand at all. I just, I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. That's cool. Everyone does. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? She got a point. She got a point. There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She doesn't want to take that away. She just want to expand. Maybe there are other people like you that needs a place to hang and chill. You didn't even want me here, but now you warmed up to me. You know, cupcakes, baby, cupcakes. It's not the same. 
It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. Wait, Natsuki, we gotta we could talk about it. Let's chat. Let's let's chat shit. Let's chat shit. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks out of the classroom. This is bad. Yeah, it is. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Ooh, shit. Ooh, who cares about that obnoxious brat? Bro, I legit just squared up with my mic, bro. Mike, I'm sorry. I did, I wasn't about to hit you, Mike, but I had to get ready. I thought something was <laughs> who who I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Oh, oh, nobody would cry if she killed herself. Yuri. Oh, 